Hey YouTube, I just wanted to come to you today with this short video and ask you, <laughs> I want to ask you, how well groomed are you for your mate? Stay tuned. Okay, so we're talking about grooming today. And I speak about this subject because a lot of us, when we get into our relationships, we have a tendency to put this on the back burner when we are with our partner. Well, let's say when we're with our partner a lot of the time. So I'm not talking to you people who are just starting to date your potential mate. I'm speaking with you people who have been in relationships for a lengthy period of time, enough for you to either be seeing each other almost every single day. You may be living together, you might be married. Those relationships. Those are the ones I'm focusing on today because I'm noticing that some of y'all <laughs> like to leave the house and just look a hot mess as soon as you enter into a relationship. Okay, first of all, let me start with the ladies because, you know, I'm a lady, so I know some of the things we be doing and don't do. So, you might <laughs> stop just grooming all together, which is you stop shaving your legs, you stop shaving the armpits, you, your hair look a mess all the time, you used to be sexy as a mother, and now your clothes just look a mess, right? Your clothes just looking a hot mess. They might even be too big. You might always be in your pajamas. I mean, I'm kind of guilty of that, but we're going to move out. <laughs> you might always be in your pajamas. Now, fellas. I want to talk about y'all, okay? Because sometimes, like it made me think about this subject, I will say, because I'm my own man. Like, <laughs> we, be, we be around each other all the time. And I get it, you know, the beard is growing in, I love the beard, you know, the hair growing, et cetera, et cetera. But when we were dating, oh, on point every time. Now it's kind of like, well, I, I, you know, I'm going to shave. I, I, I'm going to cut my hair this weekend. I'm, so... You're going to give everybody on the weekend the fine person, and then I get the front. Really? Really? <laughs> like, no, it's supposed to be the opposite, if anything. I want the sexy one that I seen across the way that I was like, <laughs> that's the same guy I want to come home to. And I said that I was guilty about the pajamas because at this particular point in my life, I am a stay-at-home mom, which I'm loving, and um, it's almost up, that's beside the point. The point is, sometimes I'll be in my pajamas. Now, don't, don't get me wrong, I love my pajamas because for a particular day, I'm just not going nowhere, and guess what? Pajamas is that day, or it might be two days in a row, but the point is, I make it a point several times a week, even if I'm going zero place that day, I'm like, okay, Boo didn't see me. He didn't see me in my pajamas too many times this week. Today, he gonna get, he gonna get this today. <laughs> and I love, 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 love. I don't even know if I've expressed it to him this much. I love, 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 love when he sees me and he hasn't seen me dressed up. You know, it might be, like I said, a couple of days. I don't let a cup more than a couple of days go by. And he comes in and he sees me and he's like, Oh, wow. Oh, I'm loving that. I'm just like, ooh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, a little something I went together, you know. <laughs> but it feels good when your partner sees you, recognizes the time, effort, and energy that you didn't put into yourself. And I don't necessarily do it for him. Like, now I am doing it for him, right? I am doing it for him now. But when we got together, it was because of me. Like, I wanted to do that. <laughs> what? I wanted to do it for me. <laughs> but I want to make sure that I continue for him to see me the way that he seen me when we got together. In one of my previous videos, I talked about being proactive. This is another proactive approach that I am taking. Because we all know there are plenty of women out there. Now, I'm speaking from the woman's standpoint because I'm a woman. But there are plenty of men out there, obviously. My point is, there are plenty of women out there that can catch his eye. Whether or not he want to do something with him or not, don't matter. Like, 
I want to make sure that even though he, even though he does see and is going to see and is going to continue to see beautiful women out there, that he remembers what he has at the house. And even though they are pretty sexy, fine, they have all of that nice body and everything, he's still not tempted, you know, enough. Because there's always going to be temptation. But not, tempta not tempted enough to actually act on it. I wanted to see it. Okay, that's cool. I mean, that's cool. Yeah, she good. She, she look good, et cetera, et cetera. But I'm going to the house. Because she still got it going on at the house. Like, she ain't lacking. So, men, we want y'all to look just as good as y'all want us to look. So, all of that is to say, both parties, men and women, keep it tight, keep it right. <laughs> Make sure that all of the time, energy, and effort that you put into getting all sexy and well-groomed when you first met your partner, if you have fallen off the bandwagon, it is time for you to hop back on and go get sexy and go get pretty and go. I mean, just, just go and do what you need to do in order to make sure that your partner is still attracted to you. If you, got, if, if you gained a little bit of weight, that's okay. I mean, you know, depending on how you feel about yourself, because that's what it's really about. It's not necessarily the amount of weight that you have on your frame. It's how you feel about your body. If you do not feel good about your body, if you don't feel as sexy as you once did, it's time for you to take a proactive approach to that and start doing something about that. Now, if you already feel good and you still put on some weight, make sure that you are showing it off, if to nobody else, to your partner. If you have stopped getting dressed, looking good, it's time to get back on the train. Start looking good again. You want to keep the relationship tight and right. You want to keep it together. You want to keep it uh, cohesive and running smoothly. This is another thing that you did to get the person. You have to continue to do this to keep the person. Can't just fall off the bandwagon. Think about it. Put it into practice. Start tonight. You need to shave, go and get it. You need to cut that hair, go and make an appointment if you can't do it yourself, or tighten it up. Look good for your partner. Stay looking good for your partner. And this is one of the things that's going to keep the relationship easy going. There's always going to be problems, do not get me wrong, and my relationship is no different. Get well groomed once again and let your partner see why or at least one of the reasons why they fell for you in the first place. All right now, tighten it up. <laughs> See you guys in the next video. Deuces.